Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Rathin Datta. Today we will be discussing about the two forces that is primary unbalanced force and the secondary unbalanced force which is responsible in case of reciprocating masses. So before balancing the reciprocating masses, we have to know what do you mean by primary unbalanced forces and the secondary unbalanced forces. In our previous videos, we have balanced the masses in uh, the rotating masses. Okay, in this case, we will be balancing the uh, reciprocating masses. But in this video, we will be discussing regarding the primary unbalanced force and the secondary unbalanced force okay if you can remember our equation that is the inertia equation in case of reciprocating masses that is fi that is the inertia mass is equal to m omega square r into bracket cos theta plus cos 2 theta by m so if we break this bracket as m omega square r cos theta plus m omega square r cos 2 theta by m this can be written in two separate expressions this fi is actually the inertia force is actually the unbalanced force in the reciprocating masses so after dividing two parts that is m omega square r cos theta and m omega square r cos 2 theta by m the first part will be known as the primary unbalanced force fp and the second part will be known as that is the m omega square r cos theta by 2 cos theta cos 2 theta by n will be termed as secondary unbalanced force uh, fs so fi that is your unbalanced force fu will be equal to fp plus fs so our primary unbalanced force is due to the uh, harm simple harmonic motion of the reciprocating parts and it has a maximum value at theta equal to 0 degree and theta equal to 180 degree and in case of our secondary unbalanced force that is fs it has a maximum value at 0 degree 90 degree uh, 180 degree and 360 degree and hence it has two times more frequency than the primary unbalanced force okay and it is responsible due to the obliquity of the arrangement of the reciprocating mass arrangement crank connecting rod and the reciprocating mass uh, mass arrangement so obliquity is nothing but the ratio of length of the connecting rod to the uh, crank radius depending on it uh, our secondary force secondary unbalanced force comes into the play if you uh, observe it is 1 by n times the magnitude of unbalanced uh, secondary unbalanced force is 1 by n uh, 1 by n times of the primary unbalanced force so for this reason it is uh, the value of secondary unbalanced force is neglected in case of low or moderate speed engines but in case of high speed it is obviously counted so your unbalanced force in the reciprocating masses is nothing but your uh, inertia force fi which is uh, which is composed of two forces fp that is a primary unbalanced force and the other part secondary unbalanced force fs thank you thank you so much for liking for sharing thank you once again bye bye